Hello everybody, welcome back to Glen and Heath. Right, we're um, resuming from the previous episode, which we was doing the uh, wheat harvest. So we're going to jump in back in the tractor. We're still in March, but after today, we will be progressing to the next one. But first, we've got to do the uh, the rest of the harvesting, and then uh, we've got the grass field to cut and the other grass field to row up and bow what we did in the previous episode which is there's the uh, tractor there so first things first we'll go to the uh, combine which is already in the field and um, we'll get the harvesters done and we've got the straw to pick up as well so uh, we'll jump in the combine and we'll get this done Right, let's go. I'll speak to you a bit. <laughs> Excellent, that row all fit. As you can see, we're, look, we're all full, apart from 2%. But we'll get around But yeah, we'll get the rest of that, uh, get this finished, and then uh, we'll jump into the Massey. Or we'll, un we'll unload the trailer, put the uh, combine back in the shed, unload the trailer, and we'll jump in the Massey, we'll get that field cut. And then, once that one's cut, we'll go over to the field in the distance. I'll go round the headland with it, and then we'll put it on a worker. And I'll come in here with the uh, John Deere, and we'll get barley with the straw. So, but as I, uh, I looked in the um, music market, and there's an, no, wrong one. This Possinger baler, which I think I'll prefer this one over the Massey Ferguson baler. So we'll take the Massey Ferguson baler and sell that at the shop, and we'll buy this one. 
So yeah, that's that's my plan. So let's see if this all fits in one header. Don't matter if it don't, because we've got to come back up the field anyway, so. Yeah. But yeah, that's not a problem. We've got to come back up the field, so. <coughs> I still haven't sorted my problem out with my steering wheel. It still goes off to the left when I'm not paying attention. I don't know of uh, what I've done or if it can be sorted out. If anybody can uh, give me any feedback on it, I'm using the uh, Logitech. Can't remember the number of it, but it's a uh, it's the steering wheel what comes with the side panel. Oh, we lagged. I don't know if it can be fixed or I might just have to go buy a new one. I'd rather not buy a new one, I'd rather be able to fix this one, but if it can't be fixed, well, I'll have to. But yeah, that is the wheat Harvin finished. So we've got one more harvest this year, that's the corn. I haven't made my mind up if we're gonna Harvest it with the combine harvester, or gonna rent or potentially buy a forage rack. Forager. That made my mind up. But that won't be in this episode anyway, so. That pop straight in. But anyway, we'll get this put in the shed. But yeah, look at the cow barn with the uh, robot. But I've found a, uh, a problem with this map. I don't know if it's been sorted out, but I've been playing on this map just uh, for a bit of fun not on this game save on another game save and I found that when you put straw into the cow pen it don't go in the cow pen it goes into the silo for some reason I don't know why oh yeah listen to these put, be put away as well Trailer put up, boy. So we have 50,963 litres in storage. Excellent. I 
put this back away in the shed. Oh, where am I going? I'll just leave this here. Yeah, I don't know uh, what happens when you put straw into the robot. I haven't done that yet. I haven't got that far. And more get other games saying. I started that game save before recording on this just to see what this map was like. And it was really good. So I had to do a let's play on it. Um... Stack both together. Forgot what control it was. But yeah, I won't time lapse this. I'll uh, get this, get this field cut myself, and then we'll run over over there, run round the headland with it, and then we'll put on the worker and let the worker do it. One of the fit, I'm going to put one of the fields as a arable crop. I don't know which one it's going to be yet. But we might need four fields, grass fields, because uh, the cow pasture that holds affairs and sheep, uh, cows, so I beg my pardon. And then the sheep pasture holds affairs and sheep also. So that's a lot of cows and sheep. With Maze Plus, they're going to be wanting a lot of feed, a lot of food. Because I have the animal grazing mod as well. So with that mod, they do tend to eat a lot of food. And with that much cattle and sheep, they're going to take a lot. But we're nowhere near ready for animals yet. Nowhere near. Make your way over to the other grass field. Like I said, we're going to go around the headland on that one. And then we're going to set it on the worker. And then we're going to get the uh, straw, bow straw bowed up. What way should I go? But yeah, as you can see, this is a big field. And uh, the field in front of us, what we own as well, that's even bigger. So I don't know if we should keep keep them all as grass fields or um, put one as an arable crop. Oh, I'm not sure what we should do for the best. So tell me what you think. Who thinks I should uh, keep four grass fields and who thinks I should uh, put one as an arable crop? And if I should put one as an arable crop, 
which one to an admiral prop yeah that's that's a big field i'll say that's bigger than this one, the one i'm in now as i say affairs in cattle and affairs in sheep they may need these four grass fields to feed them so we'll just have to take one step at a time see how we go so yeah as i get back to the shed down there and then we'll let the worker continue and we'll go and uh get bailing let's go so yeah if you do like the video don't forget to hit the thumbs up share and subscribe helps the channel out helps me keep going but yeah that didn't take long to get around that headland Good morning, Marker. Please do a good job. Please. Let's hop over here. Get back in the John Deere. That's exactly why I left it there. So we didn't have to go too far. Right. Oh, a bit of a bum. First, we'll, we'll, in, we'll row these two fields up before we do anything. So yeah, change of plan now. I'm gonna do both of these fields, a silage bales, and then the one where the worker is. When he's finished that, he can uh, ted that, put that to hay, and that can be all hay. And these two fields can be all silage. As for the corn, <laughs> I'm still no, still don't know what I'm doing with that yet. Oh yeah, I was going to bow the uh, straw, wasn't I? Oh dear, I forgot about that. It slipped my mind. Stand on a straight line, mate. You know you want to. So we're going to have a lot of bailing to do. A lot of bailing. Oh, damn. As soon as I take my eye off and forget what I'm doing.
we've just got three more passes to do and then uh, I don't know. I don't know if we have to use the Mac first, Ferguson Baylor. I'm gonna get that passenger. I'm thinking of getting the passenger. Which we'd probably be able to sell to Massey Ferguson. Get a good bit of cash back. And buy the passenger. And be up. So yeah, work is still going over there. I hope I can get all that in one, one sroth. I don't think I'm going to. Hmm. Times the times five. Yeah. Oh, steering wheel's doing my head in, mate. See how I can get in between these vet calls and issues. Yeah, loads of room. Nicey, nice. Well, that's this grass field done. Well, I won't put this away in the shed because we're going to need it next time. So I'll just lay it. It'll do. Are we ready to go into that field then? We'll go get the batter on the back. Yeah, we're gonna go sell this. Wait for the yellow van to go. Oh, there's a passenger, another. 
pedestrian. Right, let's get out. Repaint it. Seventy three. Seven three thousand seven hundred and fifty and five, should I say? Yeah, it's worth it. So So we definitely made a profit. Definitely made a profit there. Oh, look at that. We're going to get animals, so that could be handy, and we can pick them up ourselves. So we're going to buy that. Thank you. And also this. Yeah, that was the max speed. LED corner stuff. Storage tank, yes. Full colour. Um, what's that blue? We'll have John Deere green actually. Yes, 41,000, so we definitely made a profit there. Definitely did. Oh, what more we got? Hmm. That's not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal, that. We can put it in a swath. So yeah, we're gonna have that as well. And then when he's finished doing that, uh, so we left at ninety-one thousand. So I think we've done a good bit of business there. Very good bit of business. So, oh, we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. Let's buy a pallet of additive. Uh, one or two. We'll get two. We'll get two. But yeah, I think we've done a good bit of business. What's the blue then? What's going on with the blue? Here we are, back to the farm. As we're here, we'll, we'll start off with the grass field. Um, and he's unfolded. Right. Oh, what's that? What's that? You need to finish filling the bag up with net wrap. Net wrap. Right, let's go to my toolbox. I've never used a net wrap. I didn't even see us. I didn't even see uh, an option for not using net wrap. Oh, crash counter plus one there. Put that on. Hmm, I don't think I did. But anyway, 
What's that? I was going to start with the Sarge first, but then we'll go over to the uh, Git Straw done. Yeah, I don't think that uh, Matthew Ferguson did 180 bow, so... Well, as we're doing straw, as we're doing straw, these want to be as the biggest bows. And the hay can be at the biggest bows, and the silage has to be at the 150 centimetres, right. That's better. Right, let's get this done. This field nearly finished, and we've only got two bows. I don't know how many meters they hold. Let's have a look. And I never knew they were uh, undone. And let's have a look at this. 33,000 meters. Oh my gosh. 33,000 litres in one bow. I'm glad I uh, changed the bow. Definitely glad I changed the bow. Though. That's, that is unbelievable. 33,000 litres of straw in one bow. Jeez. That's something else that is. So yeah, definitely done the right move there, selling that Massey Ferguson. Because that funded for the animal transporter and the other rear lawnmower.
go now. As you see, I didn't see that coming out. I didn't pay attention. But yeah. Not too many bells. Two, three, four, five. Probably get another one, two at push. But yeah. Um oh, it's rolled over. One of that. You know boy. Yeah, so I'm pleased that I sold that uh, Matthew Ferguson baller and purchased this one. I can't believe there's 11,000 litres. 11,000 litres in them barrels. That's, that's, that's amazed me. But yeah, get this uh, field print cleared. And then that's going to be it for this episode. And then next time, we'll... Um, I may bow the grass field off camera, so that's done Done for the next episode then. We'll concentrate in them big fields. Yeah, we'll concentrate in the big fields, get them cleared. And then we need to think about getting these two fields sorted out, ready to go again. They're going to need lime. We need to go and do a soil, soil sample of them. And then we need to lime them and then obviously seed and fertilise them. There's another one. So that's number six. So yeah, we're just going to be left with six. And then whatever's left in the baler will be turned into silage or the fork. So yeah, we'll just get to the end here, clean that little bit up there, and then that's it for today. We'll probably sell the wheat in the next episode as well. Uh, the price may have gone up a little bit more it's midday now it's 12 o'clock so we'll be in March still in the next episode but anyway thank you for watching if you did like it hit that like and share button and then uh, subscribe but until next time see you again soon bye for now